great advocate. I now have, uh, so sorry everyone, I'm, I'm Mohammed Alam, Vice President of the Young Democrats of America, and I now have the honor of introducing a great friend of ours um, at, at NYSYD and across the state, um, Comptroller Thomas DiNapoli. Uh, Tom is the 54th Comptroller of the state of New York. Uh, prior to that, he was the assembly member for the 16th district uh, out in Long Island. Um, and as many of you know, he is um, the record holder for being the youngest um, elected official in New York history at the age of 18 to the Mineola uh, Board of Election. Um, he comes from a strong union household and is most likely or probably the most loved elected official in New York because of his famous breakfasts. And um, we've been to enough conventions to know uh, that he has the best breakfast. Um, and I wanted to also mention that in 2017, he was awarded the FDR Trailblazer Award um, for his incredible um, service to the state. And now we are awarding that to, uh, to James. So without further ado, please help me uh, welcome our great friend, Thomas Denapoli. Uh, Mohammed, thank you so much for that uh, very generous introduction. I appreciate that. I always am grateful when uh, folks are reminded that my first election was when I was 18. I was still a senior in high school to the uh, Board of Education. But I'm especially grateful that you didn't mention what year that was. Uh, but I, I am so delighted to join with all of you. Chauvin, thank you to you and your officers for inviting me to spend just a couple of minutes on this terrific call. You have such a lineup of elected officials and party leaders who are spending their time with you. It's a real tribute to what we all think about the New York State Young Democrats. I want to certainly say congratulations to your long list of honorees, the individuals and organizations so deserving of the honor. Uh, as was mentioned, I was pleased to be the FDR Trailblazer honoree years ago. And now my colleague in statewide office, Tish James, our outstanding attorney general, is receiving that well-deserved recognition. And a quick shout out to Lauren Suma from my home county of uh, Nassau County. I'm very familiar with the work that Lauren does here uh, on Long Island. And really, all of you who are being acknowledged, you really have gone above and beyond. This is an incredible year to be a Democrat, especially a young Democrat, because we see young people really waking up to the challenge of moving Trump out of the White House. Whatever the issue is, whether it's healthcare, the environment, women's issues, choice, social justice, racial justice, you go down the long list. These are issues that young people particularly care about. And I think that's why you've gotten a great response to the outreach that you've been making. And uh, you know that, that year that I ran for uh, the school board uh, was my first vote. It was also was a presidential year. And what a great opportunity the presidential years are to bring new people into our ranks. Uh, you know, sometimes people talk about the young Democrats as being our future. You are our present. So the more you can do to enlist your peers uh, to be involved with your organization, and you just look at all the candidates across the state, so many younger people now are on the ballot. So uh, you've been doing a great job, your day of actions, all the calls you've been doing into the swing states. This election isn't over yet, and let's not be lulled by the polls. Let's remember what happened four years ago. There's still time for them to pull some tricks uh, out of their sleeve, and Lord knows they're capable of it. So keep doing what you're doing. And as others have said, electing Biden-Harris obviously is so key to our future. Here in New York, we need the additional support from Washington that we're not getting. You know our reports, the budget shortfall, not just for the state, but for New York City, for all of our localities. We need a Democratic majority in the Senate. We need Chuck Schumer as majority leader. We need to continue to have a strong House of Representatives. And that's how we're going to get the support we need so that we don't have to have the kind of budget cuts or tax increases that would really set us back. So by supporting Biden-Harris the way you have been, we're going to elect more Democrats to the House of Representatives in New York. I'm convinced of it. My dear friend, Andrea Stewart-Cousins, she's going to get that veto-proof Senate because I've seen the candidates all across the state. They are an incredible crop of state Senate candidates. And of course, the State Assembly, our great speaker, Carl Hasty, the House that I was privileged to serve in for uh, two decades. They've got a strong majority, but hey, we could always use some more Assembly Democrats. There's no doubt about it. So. Let me just wrap up. You have others that you want to hear from. Just thank you to the New York State Young Democrats for everything you do year in and year out. But you know what, 2020, your efforts really and truly have never been more important than ever. I look forward to continuing to work with all of you. I hope many more of you will choose not only to be involved with the party, put yourself forward to be a candidate as well. We need uh, 
new blood at every level and you could help provide it. So thank you, New York State Young Democrats. Here's to victory on November 3rd, Biden-Harris, all the way through to the assembly candidates. Let's go, win this one for all of us.